Hello classmates, it's me. Anyways, uh, oh, I was just gonna explain like what the guy was saying, how he was saying you guys are just special and stuff. Um, but he was lying because, well, you guys are special, but it's it's not magic, you know. Well, you knew you knew that too, but anyways, um, so what's it called? Uh, in mathematics, we have something called um, uh, the modulus. Uh, but modulus really, I mean, all it says is that uh, we have different uh, mods. So, like, let's say if we choose mod 1, right? So that means in mod 1, the only numbers that exist is 0, which is not really helpful. Let's say mod 2, the only numbers that exist is 0 and 1. Or well, if we say mod th uh, 3, the only numbers that exist are 0, 1, and 2, right? But mod is really uh, just like uh, remainders so like for example if I said um okay if we're talking about uh, mod 3 right then let's just list some random numbers that we know of uh, that exist uh, you know real numbers uh, or natural numbers or whatever 0 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 okay so in mod 3 these would be the numbers. Zero would be equivalent to zero. One would be equivalent to one. Two would be equivalent to two. But remember, in mod three, the only numbers that exist are um, one number less than that module. So in mod three, it would be zero, one, and two. So these are the only numbers that exist in this world. Uh, in this world, uh, in this universe, mod 3, 0, 1, and 2. So what happens if we're going to convert 3, which is a real number to us, into mod 3, uh, you know, mod 3? Well, basically all it is is you get the mod 3 and you divide it with that number and the remainder is the mod. So what's 3 divided by 3? 1. What's the remainder? 0. So it's 0. And then now, if you wanted to find 4, what's um, 4 in mod 3? It's basically how many times does 3 go into 4 once with the remainder of what? 1. And it's the same thing with 5. How many times does 3 go into 5 once with a remainder of what? 2. So that's basically all it is. And you see here the only numbers that exist are still 0, 1, and 2, just like we had it there. So, so this works, but the, the cool thing about modules is that in, in, in mods, we could say that zero, which is a number to us, uh, it's a real number, uh, is the same thing uh, as three. Why? Because their modules are the same. You see, zero is the same as three only because zero is zero in mod three and three is zero in mod three. So we say that zero is congruent to three. Uh, but congruent don't mix it up with equal but in a way it's kind of equal um, because they have the same uh, mod number so um, so that's basically modules and if you saw there was a pattern you go zero one two and then you started back at zero one two uh, so but now but th that was just like a quick idea on what on how to on how the guy solves uh, those things uh, about how well he says first uh, first thing he says is uh, he says pick a number from well he says uh, it has to be two digit he says pick a two digit number from uh, 10 to 100 although he shouldn't say 100 because 100 is a three digit so I don't know maybe from 10 to 99 would be maybe what he should say um anyways so from 10 to 99 right um okay so what he so what, we, what he does is pick a two digit number from 10 to 100 then you pick it then he says uh add the two numbers and then subtract from the number that you chose but let, let's see if we could list some numbers from 10 to 99 so like we could start with 10 11 12 dot 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 uh let's say 23 i don't know 24 25 
And the interesting about these numbers and the way that he uses it, he says uh, he's actually using Z, uh, you know, mod 9. I'm not sure if he knows what he's actually doing. He just probably memorized the trick, but, but it's uh, mod 9 uh, is the way to solve these, uh, is the way to figure this, this little trick out. Um, because what what is uh, 10 mod 9? So if you wanted to figure that out, how many times does 9 go into 10? Once. Remainder of what? 1, right? So that's 1, 11. How many times does 9 go into 11? Well, once. Remainder of what? 2. And remember, if we're talking about mod 9, the only numbers that exist are what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 um, all the way up to... Uh, up to eight. Yep, up to eight. Up to eight. Yep. Uh, okay, but anyways, so um, so look at this. Look, this is a cool thing. So now twelve would be what in mod uh, nine? What would be how many times does nine go into twelve once? Remainder three. And if we continue this, how many times does nine go into twenty-three? Uh, nine times two is eighteen. So that goes in two times. The remainder of what? Five. Uh, so. How many times again? It's two, remainder six, and you know, two, remainder seven. You know, it increments, and then once you get to eight, it goes back to zero. Although I didn't, if you can't, I, I'm, you can't go nine because he says go from 10 to 99. So, you know, the only numbers that exist are from 10 to 99. But anyway, so, so these are the interesting thing about these is that, well, okay. Here you have your real numbers. All these are your real numbers, right? Okay. So what happens when you subtract the real number from the module? You know the module equivalency um, in mod nine. You would get ten minus one. Okay. What's ten minus one? Nine. Okay. Now let's see. That was this one. What about eleven minus two? What does that equal? Oh, nine. What about twelve minus three? That's nine. And and the really cool part is that look, here's one zero, right? We we said that the mod was one, right? But look at this. What's he's remember he says add add the two digits. Well, what's one plus zero? One. What's one plus one? Two. One plus two? Three. Two plus three? Five. Two plus four? Six. Two plus five? Seven. You know, and so on. But so. Okay, so let's just con let's just continue this one, just so you see something. Okay, so this was in the tens, right? Look what happens in the twenties, right? So we have twenty-three, and then he says add the two digits, uh, which you'll get five, which is the same thing as the module, and you'll actually get eighteen. Okay, here twenty-four minus six. What does that equal? Eighteen. Twenty-five minus seven. What does this equal? Eighteen. So you see, for the tens, any ten-digit number that's in the tens place, you know, well, I mean that's in the in the values between ten to nineteen will give you nines. Any numbers between any values between two, uh, twenty and twenty-nine will give you the values of eighteen, and you know thirties will give you the values of twenty-seven. You know if you don't believe me. Um, let's say 32. Dot, dot, dot. Um, 32. What, what would be mm, what would be uh, mod 9 of 32? Well, how many times does 9 go into 32? Well, we have three times, right? Because 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus uh, 32 minus 27. That would be your remainder, right? So five. Okay. So here we have 32 minus five is equal to what? 27. And if you notice, these are all multiples of 20, uh, most, sorry, multiples of 9. Why? Because they're in mod 9. So that means that what he does is that he just picks every other 9. So like 9, he puts that little um, yin-yang symbol. And then at the 18s, he'll put a yin-yang symbol. At the 27th, he'll put a yin-yang symbol. And you know, and so on. Multiples of nine. You know, he'll put it for thirty-six. He'll put it for um, uh, you know, you just add another nine, so forty-five, and then he'll put it for um, you know, and so on, and so on, so on, blah blah blah. He puts the yin yangs on all the multiples of nine. But the the reason where it all comes from is because it's in mod nine. Um, 
You could literally do it for mod 8 too. Um, but you might have to restrict these numbers. Maybe. Maybe I, I didn't check. But but this is just basically just um the proof to why all of this works. Because no matter what number you pick in the tens place, if it if it's in the in the you know in the round between 10 to 19, no matter what number you choose you will get the mod unconsciously by adding the two digits and um, you will be subtracting it and you'll always end up with nine it's the same thing here with the 23s and 24s you'll always be adding these two digits and you'll unconsciously be finding the module of that in mod 9 once you subtract it you'll get a multiple of 18 and so on so it doesn't matter what 20s you pick doesn't matter what 30s you'll pick, you'll always end up with a multiple of 9, which is why he, well, he didn't know, I'm pretty sure he got the picture from someone who knew, a mathematician who developed this method, and he knew that you could, you know, get a victim and then tell him and you're special and everything, and then, you know, he knew how to mess with the numbers and stuff, so he played them. Um, but so on he knew to pick every multiple of nine and then just put it in put that specific symbol and it would look like he could predict but the reality is that if you pick any number between 10 to 99 you would get uh, the mod uh, you would get uh, a number that's in mod 9 uh, well multiple of the mod that you're using you know 9 18 27 and so on uh, so that was just the proof to uh, this, uh, the, the magic trick.